So today we're running a virtual reality session and the idea is to be able to use VR to teach fundamental concepts in a subject which is inherently three-dimensional plus time dependent which is fluid mechanics. It's difficult to make them see something in 3D but in this VR they can understand the physical essence of it. You actually brought the equations to life that I'm able to look at the world not just um, on paper or in lectures but actually knowing that um, this is how it is actually in the real world and being able to be part of that is, is quite exciting. When we do physics, 90% of our time is doing math, solving equations. We always tell the student, imagine that is beyond this board something. And sometimes it's difficult to explain and with VR it helps a lot. We faced a challenge before in the classroom where we're having to stand there in front of a screen and say, imagine this, imagine that. Now we can take all that away and we can ask the students to dive directly into the flow, visualize things, but also be able to listen to the fields. So they're able to listen to the pressure, the stresses, the flow fields, and then convince themselves that what we're telling them in the classroom is actually correct. I always found fluid mechanics a bit abstract, but you're always looking at it on the page. So being able to, as Omar likes to say, dive into the flow and actually see how the profiles change properly in 3D for the first time, that was really valuable. And certainly when I approached my problems afterwards, I was able to give a much better sketch of what I was trying to solve. And that, that really develops my understanding and my appreciation for the subject. I think fluid mechanics is a very visual, very 3D subject. So sometimes when we illustrate it on paper, it's not, uh, we get a very superficial understanding or we can't really visualise it in our head. So VR functions as a very good tool to help us to understand it from another angle other than just equations and formulae. Today, we were looking at turbulent flow and that's particularly challenging because, again, on a page, difficult to represent. But when you can actually see just how random the motion is, uh, it really links back to fundamentally the approach you use to solve the problem. We're just really diving into a numerical simulation, so really immersing into the, into the world of fluid mechanics and actually being immersed in that, being able to hear the velocity, the pressure and just looking at particles going, that was really cool. The response that we've had from the students has been very, very positive indeed. Okay, so they'd heard that we were going to try to put together a VR system for them, but they told me we were very surprised about how effective it is, how good it is, uh, and this is just the beginning. And so the idea now for us is to get feedback from them about the various things that have worked and have not worked, so that we can then aim to um, you know, do things in a better way. The other thing that we'd want to do is to better integrate what we're doing in the VR sessions with what we're doing in the classroom. Uh, so we have a lecture, then they come over here and have a VR session. Might there be a better way to integrate those two different um, events? I think that's what we're going to aim to do in the very near future. This is the, actually the first time I was uh, exposed to virtual reality and looking at how this um, complements education and allowing me to, to experience it live, that really added a lot of value to my learning experience. Yeah. I think that using VR, we're able to accelerate the development of a student from a complete novice who may not know anything about fluid mechanics to becoming an expert uh, in, in a way that was not possible before. And the hypothesis is that if they have a multi-sensory understanding or grasp of what's going on, in terms of visualisation plus another sense such as hearing the flows and hearing the pressure etc or feeling with their hands through a haptic interface we think that those two modalities in combination will accelerate their development uh, quite quickly. You're seeing them for yourself, you're seeing what's important and what isn't and how each factor interacts with the other. Um, so I, I think it's a really useful educational tool. Now one of uh, the things we are doing now is actually piloting what we have created, so our first prototypes. During the summer we will need to uh, further advance this prototype, adding new features, adding multimodal interactions, adding sound, possibly also vibrotactile and force feedback. But also we need to work at the evaluation of our work. So uh, at the moment we are collecting some qualitative feedback, uh, but we need to start moving forward towards a more quantitative approach, so to try to understand whether our approach using virtual reality and interactive uh, programs can actually have a bigger attainment for students. Students can maybe retain this information longer, they can maybe learn certain complex concepts faster. Uh, so we need to try to, to quantify this uh, at the beginning within a first early pilot and then later with, with the whole student cohort.